Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures. Well, today is the day we're going to take a closer look at the electric XP trike. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you've probably seen some of my other videos and you know we had some trouble with it. I'm going to discuss some of those problems, uh, some of the things we had to do to correct it. We're going to take this out for a ride. I'm going to give you my overall experience and whether or not I think this is a great trike or not a great trike. So let's just jump into the review. And for those of you not familiar with my channel, I want to share just a little backstory with you. We started looking for a trike a few months ago when my wife started having a desire to get out and go e-bike riding with me. And now she has some limitations and so she can't ride a regular bike. She's in a lot of pain, so we were looking for a trike that was going to be you know, suitable for her. And so we shopped online and we had some specific requirements that we were looking for. We definitely wanted front suspension, something that would soften the ride and make it the most comfortable ride for her. We were looking for something that had a larger battery so she could get out and ride for a little while and not worry about you know, getting stranded somewhere. And we were looking for a motor that was going to be powerful enough to even get her through the grass if we did decide to go down to the park or maybe even the sand if we go down to the beach. So that's what led us to our first purchase, another e-trike that was a full-size large e-trike. After receiving that one and testing it for a little bit, we realized it was far too big for our needs and it just wasn't going to work out for us. So listening to a lot of you viewers talk about the Electric XP and encouraging us to give it a try, we decided to go out there and see what it was all about. So we went ahead and purchased that one too. And that's what led us to this video today. So here I'm gonna share with you my experience and tell you what we think about with this Electric XP trike. Okay, if you've been reviewing other Electric XP trike videos, you're probably already familiar with the specs, but let me run through a couple of things here for you real quick. Uh, you know, starting up here at the front, it does have a really big headlight. We did put the baskets on the front here because uh, my wife uh, wanted those for to be able to haul a purse or some extra things if we run to the store. The trike does come with a hydraulic disc brakes up here at the front and I think hydraulic is important for trikes and I, I really like that aspect of it. It is a folding e-trike and we have found that it is easy to fold and it does get kind of compact so that part is really nice. The stem also folds down right here so you can lower the stem up here, take off the seat not fold it up if you want to be able to slide it right into the back of an SUV or something like that. Now it doesn't have a 14 amp hour battery right down here. One of the things I don't care for about this battery, one, it's smaller than what I prefer. Number two, after 48 hours of not using it, you have to wake up the battery by pushing the little button back here. And then up here on the display or up here on the button pad, you can start the trike. So that's a little different, a little unique. Don't care for that so much. We do have some really nice tires on here. I think they're suitable for this size trike. You know, they're about two and a half inches uh, wide. Uh, they are 20 inch tires. And they've been, they've been working pretty well as we've taken this you know, on and off road just a little bit. Now let's talk about this motor back here for a second because this is something quite unique. Now for a trike, uh, most trikes have the motors you know, on the front hub and Electric decided to put this on the rear. And I think that's very important because it really I, th I think it really helps out the ride and it kind of prevents having that tire spin out that you often see with trikes up here in the front. But here's what they did, guys. They took what looks like a standard hub motor and they, and they mounted it back here. And, and you know, it, it just, it works, it's, it's good. I mean, it's a 500 watt motor and it's a lot more powerful than what we imagined it was going to be because this thing peaks out at like a thousand watts. So if you're concerned about it being a 500 watt motor, don't. Don't be concerned with that at all because this thing has a lot of power. It's just a unique design with it being mounted down here the way it is. You've got a, a chain uh, on the other side. You've got a chain over here that runs directly to your axle. This is a differential axle, which I think is a must for trike. So they did a good job with that. But then right behind that, or right beside that over there, you have the rear disc brakes. Now we had problems with the disc brakes and we didn't know that that was a problem with the electric XP trike but I guess they often come shipped from the factory and there's oil on that disc. And if you don't clean that, you know, before your first ride, you're gonna contaminate your brake pads. And we didn't know that. And we contaminated those brake pads. And the result was um, when we tried stopping, we couldn't stop because the brake pads were oily and the disc was oily. So yeah, that led to, <laughs> that problem led to another problem. And that is while out trying to stop this trike while riding it, we or I ended up breaking the brake lever up here. I squeezed too hard trying to get it to stop and something inside here snapped off. So we had to wait to get that replaced. Now I will tell you, I, I have an unboxing video and I want you to go out and check out that unboxing video too because 
uh, that's not the only problems we had. We, we had shipping problems, and this is another problem that Electric has. They, their packaging isn't, isn't very good, and a lot of people are receiving damaged trikes. When I received this trike, both of these fenders were smashed up against the tire, and the tires wouldn't even spin. Now, I, I pulled that one back and away from the tire, so you can see here, it is still just a little bit crooked, but it doesn't rub anymore. This one over here is even a little more crooked. Uh, it doesn't rub anymore, so we're able to use the trike, but you can still see the damage right here where this whole tail I got smashed in, so all this is dented in right here, and that's something I can't fix. Now, I reached out to Electric, and they agreed to send fenders, so uh, they are on back order because everybody seems to have to replace their fenders these days. So we're still waiting for those fenders to show up. They did send me within a week a new brake assembly. And I have a video on that where I replaced the brake handle, uh, the brake line, which is hydraulic, right? So the brake line all the way down, all the way back, even the caliper and the brake pads down underneath there. It, uh, it only took about 30 minutes to replace and uh, that, that fixed our problem there. So we're happy with that. Now guys, I had another problem with this trike and that is because of the shipping damage, the wheels wobble just a little bit and Electric asked me to send them a video, which I did. And they came back and said, well, the engineers say that the, the axle is fine and uh, that the wheel is fine. Well guys, I'm gonna show you again uh, what that looks like here in just a second. Uh, it's not fine. And I'm gonna send them a fresh video and have them take another look at it. Here's why they don't want to do anything about that. I learned that the axle is not a part that can be replaced. So if the axle is bent and there's a problem with it, they have to send you a whole new bike. And that means they have to send you a box so you can return this one. Then they send you another one, which is gonna be you know, time delay there and it's gonna take a couple of weeks. So I'm not looking forward to that process, but I suspect that's what we're gonna have to do if I push this issue. We'll see. Um, we'll see. We're not even sure if we'll keep the trike at this point. We like it. My wife likes it a lot. Um, you know, the one time she was able to get out and ride it, she loved it. Uh, I enjoy it. Being 6'1", I can get on and off this trike without any problems. But, uh, yeah, there may be a better option out there. And I released a video about that as well, so make sure you check that out. Okay, so since we were talking about brakes, I will just point out to you that they do have that brake on the axle back there, right? So that means you only have one rear brake instead of a brake for each tire, which is kind of standard for, for trikes. So that's another thing that, I, the stopping power could be a little bit better. I mean, it works a lot better once we got the, the brake assembly fixed, repaired, replaced. Uh, we got the, um, the disc cleaned up and there's no contaminated uh, pads. You know, it does, it stops a lot better, but it still could be uh, even better than that. We did add a couple of accessories already. We purchased this soft cooler bag. I have a video on that already, uh, so check that out. It's a pretty nice bag. You know, it's, it fits down inside the rack there really nice and provides you a place to have some covered storage so nothing falls out. We did add this drink cup holder right here for my wife. She likes that. I added the cell phone holder right here and also this handlebar bag that allows us to toss in a few extra items. I like sunglasses and sunscreen and bug repellent, which is real important here. Now getting back to some of the things we, we do like about the trike, this seat uh, does a pretty good job. It's comfortable. One of the problems we had with it though is no matter how much you tighten this little bracket down right here, uh, the seat would slide up and down. And we just couldn't get it tight enough to where it would, it would stay in one position. So my wife, being the fixer that she is, she grabbed a rubber band and she wrapped it around inside there so now there's something that actually grips it and it's pretty stable now so it doesn't rock it doesn't slide up and down we really like that they gave us a suspension seat post right from the start so we didn't have to replace that that was real nice the latch right down here to adjust the seat is a better quality latch than what i've seen on some higher priced bikes i like the fact that this has a twist throttle instead of a thumb throttle my wife wasn't sure if she would like this or not but after trying it she does prefer the twist throttle over the thumb uh, because with some of the pain and arthritis and stuff that she has in her hands she found that she can twist the the throttle just a little bit and then just kind of grip the handle the, the handlebar and it helps hold it there whereas with a thumb she has to you know put constant force 
on the, the thumb throttle. So she likes this throttle much better. I will mention that we added these mirrors ourselves. Those mirrors right there work real well. The wiring up here is pretty good. I always like it when they take uh, a little time to do some good cable management there. And, and Electric did a nice job of that one. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and take this out on the road now. And so I'll, I'll share with you some of the experience of, of just how it feels and how it rides. And uh, I think that'll be beneficial to you. Uh, overall, I will show this with you now. I mean, we really have high hopes for this trike. Uh, we got some of the issues fixed. If we can get all the issues fixed, I think it's going to be a great trike. I still think it's a great value for it. You're paying for it, considering that the closest competitor, you know, uh, with this quality is going to come in around $2,000. And a lot of them come in uh, closer to $3,000. So uh, for the value, I think it's a great trike. And I understand completely why so many people like it. Look, when I made my first video talking about this, the company told me at that point that they had already sold 7,000 of these things in the first four months. So it's been a couple months since then. So, I mean, th who knows how many they've sold since then. Probably it might be closer to 8,000 now that, of these units that they've sold. So it's hugely popular for good reason. They've just got some issues they need to work out. All right, guys, so getting on and off this trike is, is pretty simple. I mean, I like that it is a low step through. It's easy just to slip in here and you know slide up on the seat one of the reasons why we really like this is that the lowest seat position for my wife uh, comes in at i believe around 29 inches uh, double check that on the website but uh, we were looking for something that's going to have the lowest seat height for her because she does has does have shorter legs and we wanted something that was going to be easier for her to be able to just slide into and i do have the seat raised for me since i'm riding it today and i am 6'1 okay so uh, even at 6'1 uh, with this suspension seat post on there, you know, I get pretty good leg extension. It could be a little bit better, and I can still raise up the seat a little bit higher if I wanted to. But my preference is that, you know, I don't stand too tall when I'm on this trike. Because the taller you ride, the higher your center of gravity is, and the more tippy it becomes. Now, I want to point out to you that they do have parking brakes on both brake levers up here. And I've only have one engaged right now, and my driveway is about a 3% grade and uh, as you can see, it's, it's keeping us stable. You know, we're not going anywhere. But to release the parking brake, all you do is squeeze the handle and it releases and I'll be ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and power this up. I'm gonna spin around in the driveway and show you how easy it is to come up this 3% grade here in the driveway. Even at a complete stop, throttle only, I can hit the throttle and it's gonna take me right on up into the garage with no problem. Whereas some trikes, uh, you know, even a 3% grade, it gives them some trouble. So I do like that. That just kind of shows you how much power this has. They say on the website that this motor has 65 Newton meters of torque. Honestly, guys, that's a mistake. This, this motor is far more than 65 Newton meters. I have a bike that had 65 Newton meters of torque, and I had trouble getting through the grass with it even. Uh, this will buzz through the grass, and it'll take inclines quite well. Okay guys, now I wanna demonstrate going on and off the end of the driveway here where we have a significant little bump here for water drainage. So first of all, I'm just gonna take it straight on and as you can see, we can go on and off with no problem. And I'm gonna go back up the driveway, almost straight on with it, no issues whatsoever. Now getting turned around up here, I'm gonna take it now at a bit of an angle so you can see uh, that you can easily go on and off and you're going to get a little tippiness there. But if you're prepared for it, guys, it really isn't a big problem uh, for most people to be able to, to take this and hit a little bit of a bump. It's always going to be safer to hit the bumps square on. But if for some reason you have to hit it at an angle, just take it nice and slow. You don't want, what you don't want to do is hit it at any type of speed. Oh! because when you do that, you can get yourself in trouble really, really quick. Oh no, my tripod just broke. What is up with that? That's never happened before. How does this go in? It goes in like that, it looks like. Oh, that is a bummer. Oh, 
I don't think that's, I think that's permanently broke. You know, I can make, yep. That is no longer, oh, bummer. <laughs> Good thing we're almost done with this video. Okay guys, now I want to demonstrate just going through the grass. I'm going to drop this down to pedal assist one. And on pedal assist one, you have really low speed, really low power. You bump it up to two, you get a little bit more. But if you bump it up to something like four, throttle only, look at there, I can get going with it and ride it through the grass here. Even going uphill just a little bit through the grass without any trouble at all. A little slippage there in the back tire. This, my lawn is not like a lot of lawns. We get so much rain here and the ground is so poor. It's a lot of real sandy. The lawns here are not smooth. They are, they are very bumpy. So you notice that it takes the bumps, but you also notice that I'm having to shift my weight from one side to the other. Cause if I was sitting up straight, look how I'd be leaning. I'd be way over. So that's just one of the things about you know, riding a trike, and you have to you have to shift your weight a little bit to counterbalance the uh, your weight and prevent yourself from tipping over. Hey guys, if you're getting value out of this video, give me a thumbs up right now, please, before you forget. And make sure uh, you know you leave any comments or questions down below. Now let's go ahead and get out on the road. We'll do some more talking and we'll just do some riding around and see where we end up. All right, guys, I just broke my, uh, my regular tripod. So I had to switch to this little mini tripod, which I prefer to use when I'm out riding because when I'm out and about, it's just smaller and easier to carry. carry. So uh, we're gonna be switching to this one. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this bag to slip this one inside here because I don't need it. That way I can just talk to you uh, on the chest camera right here, the action cam. So we have Toby tucked away. We're going to close the garage door and go for a little ride. Okay, so let me start back a little bit at the beginning just a little bit and tell you that uh, the assembly process of this trike was really easy. It's, it's fully assembled. You really just have to attach the seat and cut off a bunch of tags and things on it and unfold the trike and charge up the battery and you're ready to get started. That is if you don't have any significant damage that you need to have repaired first. But I, so I like that about electric that it ships fully assembled. I think that's great for seniors or people with limitations because they don't need the hassle of having to, you know, assemble a trike and fix it and do things with it just to be able to ride it. So I'm really, I can't stress this enough. I'm really hopeful that they're going to you know, fix the uh, the whole packaging problem so even uh, healthier people like myself don't have to struggle with trying to fix a broken trike. Let's go ahead and we're going to go this way. So uh, that is one thing. Another thing is right out of the box it comes as uh, uh, limited to 12 miles per hour and they do that because they want you to be able to go at a slower speed to get familiar with the trike. You know, <laughs> The top speed of this after you unlock it is 14, so I don't see that that's a big, a big difference there. Um, but you know, for some people, maybe they appreciate it. Hey, check it out. We're gonna go through the grass here again. And guys, I can't stress enough, you know, how impressed I am with the power of this trike. I always thought that you know I had to have a, a bike or a trike with a 750 watt motor, but I tell you, if you have the right motor, and electric got the right motor for this trike. Uh, it's just amazing because at 500 watts, it doesn't eat up as much battery juice, right? But it still provides plenty of power. And if you notice, I'm doing all this throttle only. All right, enough fun through there. Let's just get back out here on the sidewalk. So, here's a big bump we're gonna have to take. Oh, yep, wished I had suspension. But, you know, because it is a fat tire, even though it's only two and a half inches wide, it's, it's kind of thick, uh, it does take the bumps pretty well. So if that's a concern for you, then 
Yeah, just know that. Now here's something else. If you're familiar with e-bikes at all, you know, you know you have, well oftentimes you'll have like seven or even eight gears. That's the, you know, most of the time they have the Shimano branded uh, gear selector over here on the right side. You can kind of pedal along and switch your gear to, you know, choose between six, seven, eight gears. Well, one thing the electric did is they only give you one gear. And so with that one gear, it's great to pedal. Um, but let me show you here something. Because you don't have additional gears to select from, it's easy to reach a point where you can't keep up with the pedals anymore and you just start ghost pedaling. So pedal assist two gets us to six miles an hour. And typically on a regular bike, I can pedal comfortably up to 15. Yeah, I can push it a little bit and get up to 20 miles per hour. Of course, this trike doesn't go that fast. It only goes 14. But look, now we're up to eight miles an hour. I'm gonna switch it to pedal assist three. Now we're going faster. And my legs are spinning pretty, pretty good at this point. And I'm only going, you know, eight, nine miles an hour. So that kind of explains to you just, you know, the gearing, the size of the sprocket that they've got selected here doesn't allow you to pedal very much. Uh, you know, up to six, seven, eight miles an hour. Beyond that, you're pedaling pretty fast. So anything beyond that, if you want to go faster, it's probably going to be just throttle only. Another thing with trikes, the faster you pedal, the more you shift your weight left and right, and then the more unstable the trike becomes. So just be aware of that. I understand for safety reasons, they made this trike limited to 14 miles per hour, but there's quite a few other trikes on the market and they'll do at least 20. And so I do wish this trike would do 20 miles an hour. You know, when I'm riding my e-bike, I'm often doing about 15 miles per hour. And my wife, you know, when she rides this thing, she's going full speed. She's safe, she's stable, the trike does it just fine, but it would just be nicer that she wouldn't have to be maxed out all the time just to try to keep up with me. So as it turns out, I end up going slower than what I normally would because, you know, I don't want to run off and leave her. So here I am going 10, 11, and I'm just going to stop pedaling and let it go from there. You know, just to demonstrate again how easy it is to turn this trike around, I mean, if we stopped right here, we turn sharp, give it some throttle, and we can just spin right around and keep on going. No tippiness, you know, and, and guys, something for you to understand, I weigh 245 pounds and I'm 6'1", so I'm a bigger guy. I'm reaching the, uh, the top end of uh, what's recommended for this trike, right? But it's still very stable for me. And look, I'm riding all over the grass, on and off this sidewalk right here, and don't have any concerns. Now, if you notice, I do shift my weight a little bit, and that's just necessary when riding a trike. And when you're brand new to the trike, it may take a little bit for you to get used to it, but that's okay. Take your time, get used to it, right? I mean, how much fun is this? I can almost turn around only on the sidewalk. Let's check this out. See, the rear tire is right up on the edge. I'm gonna turn it as sharp as I can. Not quite. Oh, we hit a jam. Oh yeah, about a foot and a half, two feet over. That's too bad. So if I go off the sidewalk a little bit, make a sharp turn, I can almost keep the front tire on. Interesting. Here we go. All right, guys, so as you can see, you can have a lot of fun on this little trike. And I've got another video I'm going to be releasing soon. I haven't recorded it. I'm going to try to work on it today, tomorrow. Uh, but it's going to be comparing smaller trikes like this one with the more full-size trikes. Because there's a significant difference, and you need to understand it before you make a purchase. All right, we're going to stop right here and just do a speed test here. So I'm going to come to a complete stop, and we're going to do throttle only. I've got it set on pedal assist five, so we're just gonna see how long it takes to get up to speed. So there's five, six, 
9, 10, 12, creeping up to 13, and creeping up to 14, 13, 6, 13, 7. I don't have a full battery, so that's probably all it's going to give us, about 13, 6 or 13, 7, because I probably got about 60, 70% battery life right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and test out those brakes since I got them fixed now. So we're just going to go ahead, you know, we're at top speed right now, and I'm going to hit the brakes right here. There we go. Yeah, even at top speed, it probably took me 15 feet to stop there. But, you know, the brakes feel good. They lock up where before they wouldn't even come close to locking up. You squeeze the brakes real hard and... And you just kept on coasting. It didn't do anything for you. I had to rely on the front brakes in order for us to stop. But it's working quite well now. Guys, I wish I had a, a hill to climb. But I am in Florida where it's relatively flat everywhere. So I don't really have a hill to do a hill test for you. So I apologize for that. So let me go ahead and give you some final thoughts here. Um, electric needs to... They've got a great product here. They just need to step up their game. And what's disappointing, and I've mentioned this already in a couple other videos when we were trying to get this repaired, if they've sold close to 8,000 of these, why are they still having packaging problems? And why is it that it seems like almost everyone that orders a trike has problems with the rear fenders being smashed? Because that's costly for them to have to send out fenders to everyone. And some people elect to take it to a dealer to have a dealer install them. So that costs electric because they do pay or they will reimburse you I should say for taking it to uh, you know a repair shop but it's already a budget trike at $14.99 so I just don't understand why they don't get more aggressive with fixing some of these issues uh, to prevent that problem because I've heard a lot of stories from a lot of people talking about yeah the fenders were smashed the wheel was bent and the axle was bent you know my fenders were smashed I corrected one but I still have a significant wheel wobble and I'm still got to reach back out to electric again and and talk to them about that because I'm just not happy with it. So, and as mentioned, unfortunately that's going to require them to send me a box. If they'll do it, I'm going to have to ship this back to them. And then they're going to have to send me another trike, which means my wife is going to be without a trike for yet a few more weeks. And that's real disappointing. So this bike does handle well, even on the curve of the road, okay? So you got the water drainage, you know, the roads are slanted just a little bit, so you have water drainage. Even on the curve of the road, you can feel it just a little bit on this trike. Not much, uh, but in certain spots, I tend to want to lean a little bit to the left just to compensate a little bit. I will tell you on the other trike I have, which is a much larger trike, it leans a lot more. I mean, it leans heavily to the, to the right side of the road uh, because the road is slanted. So this one, this one's handling it so much better. Hey guys, it's trash day in my neighborhood, so I apologize for all these trash cans. So okay guys, I guess that's going to be it for this review. Uh, my wife likes the trike. She likes it a lot. The first ride before it broke, uh, she said, yep, this is the one. This is going to work out well for us. And so we already decided we're going to be selling the larger trike we have after we make another video or two. Uh, so she, she's got the uh, seal of approval for this electric XP. Uh, it rides comfortable enough for her. Uh, the biggest thing for her is that the trike is easy to handle because it's just so much smaller than that larger trike. And so it's just easier for her to handle. She doesn't feel like the, the, the trike is getting away from her. So she likes that. I'm going to like it a whole lot more. She's going to like it a whole lot more just as soon as we get to the rear axle fixed if that's the problem. Now, we'll say this about it. When riding it, you don't notice any movement, okay? You just don't feel it at all. Uh, but I'm going to show you right now, um, you know, what that wheel looks like. And it, and it looks pretty bad. So, uh, it's pretty significant. Okay, guys, I've got it jacked up there. And I'm going to try to keep it balanced and steady as much as I can when I turn the throttle here to show you. Just look at that. Both wheels wobble, but that little right wheel has a significant wobble.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video because the heat index today is about 115 and it's already 80% humidity and rising. So we're going to call it done. Uh, I think I've answered, or hopefully I've answered a lot of your questions that you had with the electric XP. If you have any more, drop them down below and I'll be happy to answer those. And uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to leave a couple other videos. One will be the unboxing video and I'll choose another one of the videos I made regarding the XP that you may enjoy. So go and check those videos out. I'll leave them for you right here.